Offering a critique, an essential skill in English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the intricacies of the English language to help you improve your skills. Today, we're exploring a very important concept, offering a critique. This isn't just about criticizing, it's about providing constructive feedback that can help someone improve. So, let's break it down together and understand how to offer a critique effectively and kindly. First, let's define what we mean by offering a critique. A critique is a detailed analysis and assessment of something, such as a piece of literature, a performance, or any other creative work. However, offering a critique goes beyond just stating what you like or dislike. It involves evaluating the work objectively, identifying both strengths and weaknesses, providing specific examples to support your assessment, suggesting improvements or alternatives. Remember, the goal of a critique is not to show how much you know but to help someone understand how they can do better. Do's. Be specific. General comments like, it's good, or I didn't like it, don't offer much insight. Be precise about what works and what doesn't. Focus on the work, not the person. Critique the creation, not the creator. This keeps the conversation productive and respectful. Use a positive tone. Even when pointing out flaws, it's possible to be kind and encouraging. Your tone can make a big difference in how your feedback is received. Don'ts. Avoid personal attacks. Criticism should never be about the individual but their work. Keep your language professional and constructive. Don't compare. Avoid comparing the work to others in a way that diminishes its value. Each piece of work should stand on its own merits. Resist the urge to take over. Offering suggestions is helpful, but avoid dictating exactly how things should be done. Encourage the creator to find their solutions. Let's look at some examples to illustrate how to offer a critique effectively. 1. Instead of, this essay is boring. Try. The essay could engage the reader more by incorporating personal anecdotes or vivid descriptions to highlight your points. 2. Instead of, your presentation was confusing. Try. The presentation might be clearer if the main points were introduced at the beginning and revisited at the end for emphasis. These examples show how you can turn a potentially negative comment into constructive feedback that provides clear direction for improvement. Offering a critique is a valuable skill in both personal and professional settings. It allows us to help others grow and, when done respectfully, can strengthen relationships and foster a positive environment. We hope this video has given you some useful tools to offer critiques constructively. Remember, the key is always to be kind, specific, and supportive. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more helpful content. Keep practicing, and see you in the next video.